Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to be learning uh, some of the basics of layers. We're going to learn uh, about selecting layers and uh, grouping layers. So let's get started with the tutorial, might as well. So you need to have a few layers within your document to uh, follow along with this. So just create some layers uh, out of anything. They could be just shapes, they could be text layers or whatever. Just have a few of them up here. I just got a bunch of pictures and then some text there and then my background layer. So sometimes when you're working in Photoshop you may need to select multiple layers. And uh, there is a hotkey that you need to hold down while you're um, selecting your layers to select multiple layers. And it's the same as in as if you were like searching through like folders on just like your computer regularly. Um, you can select um, non-contiguous layers by holding down Control and then selecting the layers. And that way, when you do that, nothing gets selected in between. Or um, if you want to select. Uh, a bunch of layers that are in between so from maybe this all down to the uh, text here if I hold shift it's just gonna select all the layers for me and, and now I can um, move those around if I need to like if I need, wanted to move them below the background for some reason or something like something crazy like that who knows so when you have um, a layer selected it uh, turns to this uh, blue color and you know that your uh, another way you know that your layer is selected is that it has this like these little outlines around your thumbnail on the layer so you, it's the little white things that are around the edges of the square so uh, that's how you know when you have a layer selected it's called the active layer in Photoshop terms so another way that you can select layers without going down here into your layer panel is uh, by using your move tool so the move tool is up here in the top left it has the arrow and then the multi-directional arrows so right up here and you can select layers by clicking on the picture and it will select the layers for it. So if you're trying to just click on them uh, regularly you won't be getting be able to uh, select a layer you'll just be able to move around the layer that you have selected over in the layer panel. If you hold down control and then go to click on a layer so I just held down control and then clicked on this picture here of Bucky now if I I uh, have that layer selected as you can see on the right and I'm able to move that layer around instead instead of going over and clicking on the layer panel now this uh, nifty little uh, uh, hotkey saves you a ton of time by not having to go and find what you're looking for in the layer panel you can just click on it in your canvas now if you want to select more than one layer while you're working um, all you have to do is hold down control let me uh, deselect here all you gotta do is hold down control shift and then click on the layers that you want to have um, selected and now you're able to move these around it looks like when I hold control and shift it changes my uh, um, it's a hotkey for my screen recorder to start being able to use screen draw. So I'm going to have to change that later, but if I just hit escape, then I'm fine. I can keep using this. So it's a uh, control and shift and just select the pictures on your canvas. Now, um, if you need to deselect layers, all you need to go up to is in the menus up here, go to select and deselect layers, which is right here. If you need to select all the layers at once really quickly, go up to select and then you can select all layers and uh, that'll select all the layers for you now we can't do anything with the background where or background layer or select it because it is locked and uh, that's one of the things uh, that locking does for you and one of the advantages of using locks now if you don't really feel like holding down control to uh, select the different layers you can um, go to your move tool options which is right up here right underneath your uh, menus up here click on auto select and then you have the option of layer or group so I don't have any groups right now so we're gonna go to layers and we're just going to click on anything I'll click on this text here and if I click on it I don't have to hold control or anything it automatically selects it 
So it depends on your workflow, what you want to do. If you want to automatically uh, have this select without holding down any hotkeys, that's up to you. You just do that by clicking on the auto select button up there. The next thing we're going to learn about is grouping layers. And grouping layers is good for keeping your document organized and um, to add like speed to your document. For example, if I put all these in a layer and then move the uh, just the entire group, um, I could do that quickly without having to go select everything. So what you need to do for that to be able to group things is come down here to the bottom um, where this uh, bottom right underneath your layers panel and click on this folder and it'll create a group for you. And the group goes what uh, goes right above whatever you had last selected. I'm just going to drag it to the top. And if I double click on it, I can name this group and I'll just call it um, test or something like that. Not the best name. And I can just grab or uh, drag a few of these things into the group. And now they're uh, contained within the group folder. I can collapse to hide some of the stuff if I wanted to, or undo it, or click on this little arrow here, and it'll uh, expand the group to see what's inside. Now, one cool thing about grouping is that all I have to do is hit this I button once to maybe hide a whole group or make it show up or whatever I need to. And if I have the move tool selected and I just go to I have the group selected, if I go to move it, oops, oh, I have the auto select on. That's one thing about auto select. So I'm going to uncheck the auto select because I want it to, I don't want that on. And if I go to try to move the group here, I'm able to move everything at once. Now just remember to turn off your auto select if you want that to work out. So that's uh, how that works. Um, I personally use uh, the hotkey control to just select things that I need to. It's not much of a um, like a hassle to hit control because it's something that we always use when you uh, use these kind of programs. Now there is a hotkey that you can use to create new groups quickly and that is uh, control G and uh, that'll create a new group for you. And as you can see, I had the other group already selected and it put the group I had selected into the group that I just created using the hotkey. So this is the main group here. And then underneath it, we have another group. And that's one of the things that's cool with Photoshop is that you can nest folders within other folders. So that um, is helpful to organize your folders that you have in there, which you will be doing at some point if you work on uh, large projects. So if you want to quickly add some more stuff to your group, you can also um, select the layers here, then come up here to your layer options and new group from layers, and then make your group um, groupy and I can add a color to it if I want. Let's do blue and press OK. And then now everything is grouped together like that. So that's how you use groups. You know, use them to organize. Use them for if you need to pass on your project to someone else. And uh, now that person that's working on your project knows what the hell is going on because everything's organized nicely in your layer section. Um, I guess I better show you the way to ungroup some of your layers. Um, if you just open up your group and it has some of the layers in it, you can just click on it and drag it out of the layers panel. Let's drag it. Um, we're going we're gonna to have to drag this somewhere. There we go. And now it is completely out of that group and no longer in it. So you just drag them out of the folder into the layers panel somewhere. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And uh, hopefully you guys learned some new uh, selection techniques when you're uh, selecting layers. So thanks a lot. Have a good day, everybody, and see you guys later.